Prince to Wildstorm. And as you can see, it's super dark in here. The lights are off. The walls are pla uh, painted this uh, dark gray. And uh, I mean, you know, like we re regain some of the faith. You know, I, I, uh, I think that the kids still like our work. Uh, but I know a lot of retailers are probably angry at us as a, as a whole. Um, and, and that's primarily because of the, our, our sh shipping difficulties. And uh, at our last big meeting, we, uh, we laid down some pretty severe rules and, and punishments um, for, for being late. And when we would solicit projects, and we wouldn't solicit projects, how much work had to be done before we even say that this project existed. Um, and, and penalties for, for screwing that up. So uh, next year, you'll, you'll either see a lot of books come out in time or, or a lot of people leaving the image as they get fired and can't. So I like two owners or whatever, you know. Live from the world's financial capital, New York City, this is Moneyline. Marvel Entertainment fell three and a quarter today, closing at 49 and a half. The reason, some people say, is because of what you're about to see. I'm here with one of the top talents in the comic book business, Jim Lee. <laughs> Jim, it's great to... Oh, there you are. Actually, this is the uh, official entrance to Wildstorm. And as you can see, it's super dark in here. The lights are off. The walls are pla uh, painted this uh, dark gray. And uh, I mean, you know, like we re regain some of the faith. You know, I, I, uh, I think that the kids still like our work. And, uh, but I know a lot of retailers are probably angry at us as a, as a whole. Um, and, and that's primarily because of the, our, our ship, shipping difficulties. And uh, at our last big meeting, we, uh, we laid down some pretty severe rules and, and punishments um, for, for being late. And when we would solicit projects, when we wouldn't solicit projects, how much work had to be done before we would say that this project existed. Um, and, and penalties for, for screwing that up. So uh, next year, you'll, you'll either see a lot of books come out in time or, or a lot of people leave the image as they get fired and can. So I like two owners or whatever, you know. Live from the world's financial capital, New York City, this is Moneyline. Marvel Entertainment fell three and a quarter today, closing at... People... <laughs> We're live. Hey, sorry, I, I rotated the, the wrong intro video video there. But welcome to Wildstorm Wednesday. I'm Peter A. DeLuca, a.k.a. Pad, your pop culture poke, your spicy taco, roast beef sandwich. Look, I'm just obsessed. I love comics. I love pop culture. I love drawing. We're, we're, I'm coming to you from my drawing table. That should give you a little bit of, like, uh, comfort in the level of insight because I spend a lot of time here. I work in nine to five. Uh, I run, uh, you know, segments of my IT business from this drawing table throughout the week. So if you follow me on Twitter, I often post what I'm drawing as I'm on like conference calls and meetings and, and on Skype calls and all these other things. But look, people, today is huge because growing up, it was it was really Wildcats or Stormwatch. Stormwatch never say it with me. Stormwatch never took hold of the comic book populace. It never did until we did Stormwatch. I believe it was issue forty three. Change or die. Warren Ellis comes in. Then he kills the team. He kills everyone like off panel in Wild Wildcats Aliens, paving the way into the Authority. We get Stormwatch Volume 2 around issue 11 of Stormwatch Volume 2. We get the authority, okay? And then never, we never look back and we kind of lose sight that Stormwatch was a legitimate superhero squad that hovered over the earth and got sent down to beat up supervillains. I mean, I think that's like a pretty, that's a pretty good deal, okay? Now, Wildcats is the one that got the TV series. It got the video game. 
the crazy concept, like the crazy idea, I'm going uh, like approach. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to hit you guys with. Okay, for a wild storm Wednesday. Can can before we do that, can can I roll in a little bit of the branding right here, and and can can we do some advertising real quick? So. Go over here. I got I, I got my knife because we're ready to crack this baby open. Right here. Go to akapad.com. You sign up. I just need an address and your email, and I will send you a wolf pack, including two two trading cards. You get two separate trading cards, you get stickers, you get all kinds of stuff. And also, just be on the lookout. We're doing more and more Uzi Susie. You can see. How influential the Ash Kane is to me. Uh, I, I'm emulating my love for Ash Canes into a comic book series called Uzi Susie. Issue one's here. Issue two is on its way. We do nothing but reach our 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 agreements with fans here. Okay. Uh Trial by Fire, that's my other comic. I always I feel like I always have to say it's coming. It's coming. I know it's late. It's coming. So here's the big idea. Maybe Jim Lee's push for what is the better idea should have been Stormwatch versus Wildcats. And it sucks that Jim Lee wasn't the one drawing Stormwatch. If Jim Lee was drawing Stormwatch, Stormwatch would have went the route of the animated series and went the route of the action figures and the video game for SNES, okay? Stormwatch, I believe, I always felt this, was the better idea. They're superheroes that hover over the Earth that come down to kick butt. The premise for Wildcats, it's convoluted. It's not a good pitch. It's hard to grasp. It's just not there, okay? But we got to admire the wonderful Jim Lee cover here um it's somewhat of a classic cover now uh, it's been emulated a few times the back we have we have the homage studios logo not yet wild storm so let's let's do it i'm not even familiar with anything that's in here i didn't research it now it is i mean outside of the um wildcats trilogy i will present and hunt down all of the wildcat ash canes if the if the wildcats trilogy comes down in price or if i broker a good deal if anyone out there that has wildcats trilogy ash cane please reach out to me i would love to work something out with you here we go boom special ash cane edition Image Comics presents. I I love this stuff right here. I love it. Look at the crew now. This this crew here is only to grow. The credits of Wildstorm grows year by year. We got Battalion here. This is awesome. Just being able to see the black and white R.I.P. Scott Clark artwork. Uh, I always thought like he drew. The best shoulders in comics and he had some of the absolute absolute best hair i and this is something you don't see a lot so let's get a little bit of better lighting over here why is it dark all of a sudden why how did how did my drawing table get dark all of a sudden But I love intro pages, Hellstrike Battalion. I love it when they tag, you know, you get your little captions, you label everyone. Not enough books nowadays do that. I pick up a lot of books at, at my local comic shop. And for for whatever reason, they don't do this anymore. You don't even know who's in the book sometimes. Very confusing. And here we go. The bad guys. Kilgore, Razor, Death Trap, and Slayer. Who else would you rather these guys fight? And look at all this stuff that they criticize Image for. No writing, no backgrounds. People, we already we already set up the plot. We have a ton of character building dialogue. And Scott Clark here is drawing one hell of a school bus. He's drawing 
a great expression. We know that the kids are in danger, okay? So where does this argument about them not building a universe and focusing on writing come from? I don't know. I really feel like that argument when it comes to early image comics was controlled or like it came or percolated just from angry angry veterans, angry people that were the competition of image comics. But here we go. See, like, I guess this is some of it. This is some of the stuff that would just upset people, right? It's just like, oh, we have a, a team shop. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't have a splash page there. But the character drawing and the shadowing, it's incredible here. Great. Look at the shot, too. Of oh, wait. What's, what's this girl's name? I forget her name already. Crap. Razor. Razor flying. Bird's eye view. Razor flying overhead. Nice little detail there with her shadow trailing the, the school bus. We have, this is our certificate of authenticity. It's authentic. Very cool. Homage, Homage Studios crew. Artists, artists, production staff. Okay, keep in mind, this will only grow. I love seeing this. Kevin Cunningham, Wendy Fouts, Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson still in the game. The, the, this is awesome. Look, look we have... Alex, uh, Alex Garner, Trevor Scott. These are some of your unsung heroes. Look, Mar Silvestri's in, in there. Oh, it's so cool. And then, boom, Battalion's waking up, having a nightmare, hot babe. Like, I mean, look at the hair by Scott Clark. His hair was so good at this point. And here we go. Look, we have backgrounds. We have backgrounds here. Now, given... My only argument would be like kind of early Wildstorm slash early, early image outside of the founders because the founders had storytelling chops, but the people that were working underneath them. Now, and also keep in mind that Scott Clark had an independent comic book background. He he did cut his teeth. He, he, he wasn't newly formed. He wasn't like a Brett Booth coming in. But these guys didn't have the instinct to build in um, like establishing shots, uh, they didn't layer their shots well enough. Like here's technically maybe our first, our first establishing shot in the entire issue. So like these, but for a new company with with zero editorial, with zero EIC, these are issues that will have to get worked out. They they're coming, but awesome again. Another great bird's eye view of Battalion's uh home office his son here now his son pays off into all the way into 25 26 27 uh his son becomes a major player in the stormwatch universe or the stormwatch side of the wild storm universe and we have weatherman here i always love the tech around his his head looked like lobot from star wars jordy 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 from star wars really cool stuff we have a funeral the, these guys just show up <laughs> to kick more fun. I just love that they show up out of nowhere. But here we go. We got some of those wonderful Scott Clark shoulders. Uh, I will talk about these endlessly. We oh geez, what are we doing? We have a comment. Juke joint, juke joint. Hang around. I'm almost done. I do want to talk to you. I'm gonna to talk to you directly real quick. But yeah, battalion son gets zapped, he gets healed, and then that activates his powers. Great cliffhanger. Uh, this is a Jim Lee pinup drawing concept sketch, um, proof of concept that I'm not familiar with. This is incredible. Look at Diva, too. Diva changes. Diva is a great character. R.I.P. Diva Lee uh, has her, her end in, in Wildstorm issue 25 in, uh, for the Images of Tomorrow promotion. But look at look, like this. Battalion's different. I mean, Fuji's there. Winter's there. Hellstrike is just freaking cool. I mean, I hate how they mess with Hellstrike later and they mess with, with Winter later. I think their designs are, are great. Uh, really cool. This this is just really cool. This makes me want to just fucking create. It really does. And, and quick, if you guys didn't see it, it slipped into frame. I bought this today just because um, the DC Pride... What is it? The uh, 2022 edition kind of hit the news. They're doing some things like 
with that that people don't agree with. But I kind of ran into my local comic shop, and I'm, I just wanted to get this for. I knew they still had it on the rack, and I just said, you know what, ten bucks. Uh, let's just do it. Let, I'm going to do an upcoming video on this. Not a part of Wildstorm Wednesday, even though it might drop next week on Wildstorm Wednesday. But I really just got this, and I just wanted to show off the, the perfect triangulation. You know, this is Jim Lee's cover style. But um, this is this is one of the best modern day images by Jim Lee. Uh, I just like that he's able to showcase all the characters. Everyone's cranked into corner to corner. He's got enough space for the title and the credits and everything. Uh, you know, like, I'm not crazy over what Jim Lee's been doing with DC. I'm, I'm, I'm not. But this cover really sold, sells the book. And we're, we're going to go through this, okay? Because a little bit of Wildstorm Wednesday does overlap into the current Jim Lee-helmed DC comics. It really does. He's not EIC. He's publisher. His role's a little bit different. But... You're, you're generally, uh, you got to take some accountability. So we're going to be talking about this. And Justin, Justin, so real quick, I'm just going to put Uzi Susie back in frame. Okay. Justin, uh, let's get that script. Let's get going. Uh, we'll, let's get the, let's get the press as quickly as possible. We'll do our, uh, our own ash cane. And then, uh, when it comes to selling, we can work on, um, a couple scenarios, one being uh, we can sell it through my website, and I might be able to, I, you know what, I should be able to give you access to the website and to pages that you can view sales and, and all these other things. So let's work towards that, okay? Let's use our resources. Let's access our imagination. Let's rock and roll. Everyone, aka Pad here, signing out. But before we go, one, one more thing. Previously, earlier today, I cracked all these open. If you really want to explore some Spawn 97 trading cards, I had a great time cracking these open today. What we got? We got we got Justin with, with one more. Yeah, a little time to get the script done. Feel free to uh, filter me character ideas and things like that, dudes, just so I can, um, yeah, like we can work on the character stuff while you get the story together. All right, everyone. I'm out. Third stream for the day. <laughs> I love you.